Oh man, 7.55 already, that was fast. That was a quick hour. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, we need to get out of here. We need to go to the gas station, go to the bathroom, and then we need to go do some dumpster diving, and then we need to go to Trader Joe's. We got a lot to do. Well, there's some stuff out and about, but I'll tell you what, folks, this little dusk hour is terrible to dumpster dive. The heat's gone for the day. It's the most beautiful time of the night. So guess what? Just like animals, well, human beings are mammals. So you know what I'm saying? We're not animals, but we're mammals. I think we're mammals. I failed uh, biology. Anyway, so just like animals, they come out when it cools off. The coyotes start looking for rabbits. Ladies and gentlemen, people start looking and start walking their dogs. Whoa, that is a big old dumpster. What in the world is this? Look at that bad boy, huh? That, my friends, you definitely want to go through that bad boy right there. Ooh, is that a sleeping bag? Sleeping bag there. And I just checked the complex next to Baller Town. Looks like it is low-income housing. And again, I'm not knocking anybody that lives in low-income housing, but they are definitely saving a lot of money. You're looking at probably $1,000 off each one bedroom or a two bedroom they're going from like 940 dollars for a one bedroom upwards of i think it said like 1214 for a two bedroom 1214 for a two bedroom next door is baller town the exact same layout is going to run you 2250 2300 easily of course there was probably a crazy long wait list just to move into that place. Everyone wants to pick this particular city for sure. Again, I'm not knocking anybody. I just hope that they're actually there legitimately and not little scurry aroundy with their IRS taxes so that they can get low income housing when they can afford Baller Town next door. You know what I'm saying? It's like the old uh, saying or that one story. There was a story about a Seattle couple up in Washington. I think they were like making over $100,000 a year. And I think they were like getting like mad government assistance. And I'm like, what's the synopsis? You ain't need it, baby. What's the deal? What's the deal? Hashtag not right. Well, look what I come across here. A whole little uh, cardboard box. There's an umbrella. Let's go see what's up. grab more of those vases but we have enough vases at home i don't know if you guys caught that or not but i was pointing the camera right at two women and i was like oops they're probably going over there to scope it out oh by the way the umbrella is perfect for the back of my car i forgot if that was last saturday that i find all those pots and pans or was that on a sunday i don't remember anyway i i, I definitely like that people are getting rid of some good stuff though lately you know and i'm talking about putting it out in a nice box so that you could grab the whole thing if you really want to now again I don't take everything folks. I don't take everything. I don't double up on everything I take some things to give away of course, but sometimes I just let it sit there for somebody else Somebody's gonna want it if it's inside the can I will actually grab it if I don't need it and take it out and put it in front of the can So someone else can grab it, but trust me on that one. Whoa, we got some motorcycles. Look at this Someone's doing a nice little cross-country road trip on some of those dirt bikes slash street legal bikes we're not gonna show them because I think the dudes were around. Bikers sometimes get a little cuckoo, if you know what I'm saying. Trust me, I know. I ride a little rice rocket, one that's 30 pounds that I rode on 4th of July, remember that? Pretty dark, guys, sorry. Let me go in for a closer look. I don't know if that's a laser print or not. If that's a laser, I might grab it. Let's check it out.
That was a laser printer, but it had no cables or cords. My guess is the toner's out and it's not worth very much. That's an older HP. If I needed another laser printer, I'm good to go though. I have the top of the line one where I found all that toner at Office Depot and then I got that killer deal off a guy dropping it off locally from good old eBay. It was an eBay local auction. Not a local auction, no, actually, I just wanted to save him shipping, so I said, hey, why don't you come on over and drop the thing off? I could probably sell all the toner with the laser printer for mad flow, but you know what I'm saying? You need a good laser printer, a color one at that. This aisle had some action. Let's go see what's going on, the aisle behind this middle aisle. Yeah, I am here, you are here, we are. Yeah, I am here, you are here, we are. Awesome massage chair and I actually took that faucet out of the dumpster. Oh man, there's more stuff. Man, there's a ton of stuff. Man, this place is off the chain tonight. Let's see what's up. So I took the faucet out, but it was missing the detachment hose portion. It looks like they bought something. It might have been deeper in there. There was a medicine cabinet as well. All sorts of weird stuff. That faucet was probably very expensive. Same brand as I found before, Pfizer, Fizzer, whatever the name of it is. But again, the stretchable little tube thing unless they broke it and they just wanted to get another one. And so uh, the little tube pull out portion where the water runs out, it's missing, but just the shaft was there and some little components. Probably still could have sold, but it's all good. I just saw a resident doing a little dumpster diving. Ah, it does my heart real well, folks. It was an older gentleman. He looked like he was looking at some sort of blow dryer and kind of really taking a look at it. <laughs> Probably trying to think if it worked or not. And I guarantee you blow dryers work no matter if they're in the trash can or not. Normally electronics work except for those crazy TVs sometimes. Now I honestly am too blessed to be stressed but I would love to find myself a television upgrade. 5560 to be exact, I'll tell you what. I already got the 50 dumpster diver, got the 52. We're trying to make a move though, trying to get that 55. Folks, we got a looks to be a swinger rower machine. And then as we cruise forward, we got ourselves like an HP printer box. I'm definitely going in for a closer look. This looks like some action, folks. a lot of older junk to me you know some cd cases not some junk there was a bunch of new cd cases a lot of cassette stuff nothing like crazy crazy like dig through it and grab it but definitely cool little things though definitely some burn cds some discs stuff like that just wish i had a little bit more opportunity to dig through it somebody came to throw out their trash and i kind of beelined it pretty quickly here let's see what else we got before we vacate the premises and go to trader joe's nothing there again well you never know until you look inside i haven't been looking inside for a while i guess that's why probably i'm not finding like the really really good you know iphones and stuff like that because of course people aren't gonna like put iphones out you know in the actual like you know like hey hey grab this phone with all my sensitive information on it you know they're gonna be recycling it they're gonna be trading it up at one of those like walmart kiosks that give you like a hundred bucks for a 700 hundred dollar phone okay we got one more complex after trader joe's so i'll say it again and i'll keep saying it until they stop but trader joe's customer service probably the best customer service i've ever experienced in an actual company they definitely know what they're doing hiring people they hire people with the personalities that shine 
and it's absolutely amazing. They're always so friendly asking you stuff and they're like not afraid <laughs> to ask you questions. I was in there one week and the girl's like, what do you do for a living? And I'm like, that's the first time anyone's ever asked me that, like, you know, working. And I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm a YouTuber slash investor in cryptocurrency. She's like, oh, she's like, I thought you were a teacher. And I'm like, really? <laughs> do I look like a high school economics teacher? Which I probably should have done. I loved economics loved it you kids that are younger learn economics learn the stock market learn coding learn that stuff those are valuable lessons that you'll need for the future learn your basic english another language maybe pre-algebra but you don't even need that you need adding subtracting multiplying dividing some percentages other than that all that calculus nonsense i don't know what's that all about that's why i dropped out of college i'll tell you what a bunch of nonsense you stick i'm not knocking degrees get a degree if that's what you want to do but mostly college for me even high school was just social gathering to learn more social skills. That's why I guess I turned out the way I did. Very sociable, not very educational with a degreeable, but I can learn anything and I can teach anything if I know what I've learned. So Chris, what are you trying to say out of all this? Well, I'm saying if you know what you wanna do at a young age, and I've actually met some very young people that know exactly what they wanna do, pursue it. Pursue it with everything you got. Definitely don't drop out of high school. You know, if your parents are pushing you for college, then you know, abide by their rules as long as you're living in their home. If you wanna drop out later on, that's up to you. If you wanna finish your degree, there's a part of me that should have probably finished it, and I might actually finish it one day online classes. It's not a guarantee, but you never know. But right now I'm learning C++ from YouTube videos, and this teacher is probably the best teacher I've ever had, like, besides my second grade teacher. Oh, and by the way, that YouTube instructor on C++, yeah, free. We got a couple uh, chairs over there on the opposite side here. I'll get a better shot. I don't think I'm gonna jump out though, but I'll get a better shot in the light here. Hold on one sec. There's two of them, but there's one of them there and a little bit better of a light for you. Alright